Hello, my name's Abram, Magandang Tanghalate, and it's been another month of living in the Philippines, and a lot has happened. So, uh, we went to a resort in Batangas, which is an absolutely beautiful place to celebrate one of our Kasambahai's birthdays. Uh, a Kasambahai is like the live-in maids or nannies that we have here. I rode a jet ski, got to take some amazing photography, went to a doctor for the first time here, went to the dentist for the first time here, we hired a driver and hired a private tutor for the kids. I got x-rays done. We got our car fixed, plus we got an RFID. We went to the zoo here, which was freaking insane. Uh, I've got to hang out with an orangutan that was just walking around, fed giraffes, saw a baby hippo so close I could pet it, held a gigantic freaking anaconda, and, you know, got to learn more Tagalog, of course, because it's been another month. So, you know, mas marunang akong Tagalog. And I am going to tell you all about it in this video. So let's get started. <laughs> let's start with my experience going to Batangas for the first time. And this place was, once again, just absolutely beautiful. We plan on going on a vacation at least once a month. Our entire time we live in the Philippines here. So Batangas was the first one for January. We'll have another one for February here. Let me just say, the place is just gorgeous. I mean, you can see the footage here. It is an absolutely beautiful place. Riding around jet skis there was an absolute freaking blast. Uh, and the Kasambahais that we were celebrating her uh, birthday for, she got to ride with me and go on the jet ski. And we literally launched over some waves and were completely airborne. So that was a freaking blast. I don't know if I could have done that in the U.S., but it was it was fun. You know, there's very, very little training on how to actually use the jet ski. They're like... Here's the button to go. Have fun. <laughs> uh, and it, it, was, it was just a ton of fun to do it. Got to take some amazing pictures there. The place is so beautiful that there is lots of places where I could actually flex my photography skills and really take some really amazing pictures while we were there. I got to, from there, let me tell you about my experience with a doctor. So going to the doctor here was an extremely easy experience. So we just were driving around. It's, it's already hard to find doctors like online. It's not like the U.S. where you go online to find everything. You just drive around in the Philippines to find stuff. So we saw places as we were driving around. I was just kind of taking a note of where all these places are. We were going to hit each one. You know, I figured we'd like set up an appointment or something. But we walk into the first one that's closest to our place. The doctor's right there. We just, they're like, oh, what are you here for? I'm like, oh, we're here for this. We're here for this. And I just walk in and I'm seen immediately. There's no waiting. There's nothing. It's literally just go in. You know, they didn't tell me how much it was going to be or whatever. Maybe it's because of the color of my skin. <laughs> uh, uh, or maybe it's just because like, you know, I was just like, hey, we just need to have this stuff happen. So we went there. The care with the doctor was freaking awesome. Uh, he was able to prescribe some things that really helped out my wife and was able to help me out as well. And it was things that we were worried about because, yeah, finding a doctor is going to be hard. It's going to be easy. The easiest possible experience. And the whole thing was super cheap. I think we paid like maybe like 30 or $60 U.S. Uh, for all of everything that we needed from there. Uh, and then that was our experience with the doctor. Just the phenomenal Great care. We got everything we needed and then some, and it was super easy. The general practitioners here are not like the general practitioners like in the U.S. Like he actually knew a ton of different things, like from like like all across the spectrum. Like in the U.S., my experience was you go here, go to the first doc, your, your general practitioner. Then they refer you to a specialist who can prescribe the right medication. Here, you go to the general practitioner, and then he just prescribes it. Especially if you already know what you need to take, it's super easy. So, and, and plus you get a prescription when you get it, and you can just refill that same prescription over and over and over a whole bunch of times. So if you have like a pre-existing condition and you need to get medications on a regular basis, it's really easy. You can also just save the script. You can give that to the pharmacy, and they don't like mark down how many free refills you've had or whatever. You can just keep getting it over and over. Next thing, with the dentist. The dentist experience here was way better than any experience I have ever had in my entire life. So I've been to the dentist, I don't know, a bunch of times. I'm like, I'm 32 years old. I've been to the dentist for 32 times at least. And the experience here in the Philippines was so much better. I didn't realize that if I was going to get work done or I was going to do things, one, it could be easy. Two, it could be 100% pain-free. And three, you get all the same level of care that you would get like in the U.S. It's not like I was going to like 
a third world country where it's like, hey, we have to guess at what we're going to do. No, you get different things. I, I got x-rays done, which was a super easy process that was, once again, really easy. You just walk in, you're seen right away. I went to the dentist and set up an appointment, and it's really easy to set up appointments. Like All of these things are so convenient. And then when you go to pay, everything is cheaper. <laughs> way, 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 way cheaper than the U.S., uh, than anything I'd get. I'm actually going to be getting some cosmetic work done for my teeth as well, and I'll make a whole thing on that as well in a future video. So if you're curious about that, actually getting cosmetic work done in the Philippines, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Another thing we did is we hired a driver for us because the traffic in the Philippines is just crazy. And the, and the girls... Uh, school schedule and things like that. I don't want to spend all my time driving. As much as, you know, driving is freaking nuts in here, that's totally fine. I can handle that. It's just the time commitment to drive places and get stuck in traffic. I just can't take it. So we hired a driver. Once again, uh, the best way to hire a driver is just to find people that you know, try to get some recommendations. It's just like hiring the Kasambahai. You want to post on like Facebook boards and things like that and then interview a bunch of people and then get the best one. But hiring a driver saved up a whole bunch of my time. We also hired a private tutor for the kids who has just been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, he has absolutely taken the girls like from where they were to where they need to be. The school year schedule for the U.S. and the Philippines is different. So when the, the girls came from the U.S. to here, and then they went to an international school, which was like a higher level school than where they were in the U.S., they weren't going to private school in the U.S., but they're going to a, a an international school here, and they're learning a lot more. So not only are they learning more, but also the time schedule of when they start and when they end like the semesters is different so basically we got here and the girls were already like three months behind because of the summer schedule it's just different they're out of school at different times so this tutor has really been helping the girls catch up inside there so hiring a private tutor for the kids also one of those things that was super easy to find someone once again you just interview a bunch of people you make the you basically do everything on facebook here it seems like facebook is like the way to do things facebook is how we found our apartment Facebook is uh, how we found our tutor. Facebook is how we found our Kasamba High. Facebook is where we can find like drivers. You, There's boards all over Facebook that are like, you know, people looking for this and X community. Another thing, we got our car fixed. So our car, um, the it died. I would turn the key and instead of going ring, ding, 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 it, you know, and ding, 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 <laughs> and then did nothing, no, no turning over at all. So I knew the battery was dead. So we contacted uh, Pops, of course, our, our one that you've seen a bunch of these videos so far. He comes over at night, goes, takes out the battery, drives to another place. I don't know however he has gone for a couple hours, comes back, replaced the battery, and the car starts again. I got my whole car fixed overnight. It was just crazy. Like you call someone, they come over, they take the battery, go take it out bring it back, install it, and once again, super easy process. Plus, we got an RFID, so it makes traveling a lot easier. Uh, I can't, The most insane thing about living in the Philippines here was the zoo, was definitely the zoo. The zoo here is way different than it was in the U.S. Absolutely phenomenal experience. I got to hang out with a monkey, um, even in Batangas. Um, I didn't even show that, but look at look at this video. We saw monkeys in Batangas, and I freaking love monkeys. They were so cool, and they're just chill, hanging out. You know, they didn't even really care that we we're there. In the zoo, there's an orangutan that's that's just walking around, and you can hang out. You can take pictures with it. You can pet him. You know, that was so freaking crazy for me to see. I see these things behind like you know four inch thick like pexy glass in the U.S. Like they're gonna be like these monstrous things. This dude is just super chill. And it, it was super crazy and absolutely amazing. Got to feed giraffes here, which was cool. Uh, my kids got to feed some pigs, which blew their mind. Uh, we saw a bunch of d different cool animals. The I, I saw a baby hippo. And the, once again, hippos, I think, are, are like some of the most deadly animals like on the planet. But because they're like all muscle and it looks like they're all blubbery, but it's really all muscle. But we saw this adorable baby hippo. And I think it was trying to, it thought we we're trying to feed it. We're so close we could pet this thing. There's not like safety things in the way or whatever. It's a baby hippo. Like we were fine. But it was so crazy to see. It was very, very cool. Um, I also got to hold a really big freaking snake in anaconda. Um, the anaconda scared the living crap out of me because as soon as I picked up that anaconda, it, it I, I was the one I was like, all right, I'm already too scared to hold the snake. <laughs> but I'm like, all right, if my kids can do it, I can do it. As soon as I held that snake, the snake went from like turning its head like this 
and it immediately turned around and looked right in my eyes. And I was like, holy shit. Like, oh my gosh, this thing's gonna bite me. I'm thinking back to those videos that I saw online of like anacondas biting me. I'm like, oh, does this guy even care? I was freaking out. My heart's like, duh, 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 duh. Uh, but of course it was all fine. Uh, kids loved it. Uh, lots of fun in the Philippines. And it's only been another month since I've been living here. If you want to join me on my journey here, living in the Philippines, I moved me, my wife, and my three kids from the US to the Philippines. We didn't figure out anything before we moved here. We're just figuring it out while we're here. If you want to learn about my experience here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a playlist down below that will show you all of my videos about me living here in the Philippines. And there's plenty more to come. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.